All right, what's up? Uh, Trigger2295 here today, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install the free t uh, yeah, free VST instrument, uh, which is the SR202 uh, in Cubase. What the SR202 is, it's a drum sample player. Uh, what, I mean, what I mean by that is it's not really a drum machine in the respect where it's uh, where it'll actually have its own presets and own drum sounds actually in it. What this is, is you actually have to download the WAV files of the sounds for the, and put them into the channels here. These are the channels. Uh, that's where, uh, what I'm also going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how to download and install this and the WAV files for the Cubase. Okay, uh, so what you want to do from here is download it. So you're going to click that, bring up the box, little box here that says downloads. And then you're going to need WinRAR to extract it. So it'll pop in here, SR202. And then uh, I'll put the links for all these either in the description or in a little annotation somewhere on the page here. Okay, so you're going to need the SR202. The Alesis D4, which is also all th all three of these, the SR202, Alesis D4, and Alesis SR16. These are the drum machines. These are the WAV files. The Alesis D4 and the SR16. Uh, these are all at VSTPlanet.com. Again, I'll put the link somewhere in an annotation up uh, the annotation up here. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do from here is extract all of these. So just go double click. And just click the file. It's inside the file. It's just all this. This is the actual application uh, extension, whatever. But you know, it'll say it. Okay. So just extract to, and just because I don't really feel like trying to find out you know where it is, even though you know I, I just designated where I say where, that designate where I want to save it. I just made a little shortcut right here for Cubase VST plugin downloads. So all I do is I just extract it and save it into here and it'll pop up a little folder that'll say SR202. Okay, so from there, what you wanna do is open up the documents first and then open up this, okay? So, you know, minimize this a little bit. Oh, where are you at? There you are, okay. So what you want to do when you have that little file here that says SR202, go to local C, uh, local disk, C drive, go to program files right here. Okay, go down to Steinberg, double click Cubase. And just uh, for the record, I'm using LE5. This is the one that came with my Digitech RP355. And honestly, it's good enough for me. So, <laughs> all right, so go to VST plugins and just drag the, uh, the folder, which is gonna be this, the SR202, drag it from here to here, okay? Now, for this one right here, this is another drum machine. Uh, this is the GTG DPC3, which is another free, all these are free, VST instrument. And what that, the only difference between that and the SR202 is how many uh, WAV files you can add to it. Uh, the SR202 has 16, and the DPC3 only has 8. So that's also why I picked the SR202. Okay, so from here, minimize that, minimize that. Okay, so once you have all those installed, okay, we're going to open up Cubase. So actually, I can close this now and close this and this oh come on you stupid thing <laughs> okay so now you can open up cubase and this might take a little bit i don't know because my computer isn't really you know high high quality sorry if you hear any excess noise i'm getting a piece of gum okay Okay, so 
We'll let Cubase open up here. Again, my computer's usage is beyond just getting horribly used. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open up a selection I already made, which is my brother and I, uh, me, and, uh, me and my brother, I guess you could say, uh, are, we're making a song and it's the drums for it. So I'm gonna open up this. Now, what I did here in order to, oh yeah, well that's because I'm using the mic right now. Okay, so what I'm doing uh, for now in order to get this up here, I didn't make this myself. I didn't, I'm not that, you know, uh, active. No, I guess you could say I'm really lazy. What you want to do is go to Guitar Pro 6, make whatever drum track you want in there. Okay, go to File, Export as a MIDI, and then save it in My Documents. Then from there, all you want to do is import MIDI file. No and click on, uh, double click it and it'll open it up right here okay so once you uh, did all that stuff that I told you before you should have when wait wait hold up ah. okay all the inputs this is uh, the instrument there okay for the output click it and click the SR202 so I already have that so I'm open okay now, if you notice, all the channels uh, that are have high foot, you know, you can't hear it because uh, I'll, I'll, I'll export this as an MP3 and I'll put it uh, at the end of the video probably. So, the one that says high foot, uh, classic, random hack, blah, 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 those aren't going to be in there until you put the... Uh, the Elise's D4 and SR16, those you have to uh, put into here for the sound. I'm gonna close that. So, wait, don't, uh, don't close that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so you have your lo uh, the load, which, uh, eh, which is how you load your sound. The C right here, it's uh, clear it. It'll just clear the, you know, erase it out of here. Mute and solo, okay. So what you want to do is you want to, I'll just go to an FD one right here. So you want to click on the L and again, where I had the Cubase VST plugin downloads, that helps because I named it Media Bay and here's all the sounds that will come with it. With the Alesis and the, with the Alesis D4 and SR16, these are all the sounds right here. So say I wanted to add, a, I don't know, a snare drum. You double click it. And we'll just click on either one of these, classic or dry combo, whatever. Double click it, it'll import it, and then you just press this to listen to it. Again, because I'm using my mic right now, I cannot actually uh, show you guys what it sounds like. So I'm just going to clear that because I don't need that in here. So uh, that's how you put them in there. Now what I want to show you guys is how to create a drum map because without that all of this right here will mean nothing at all so what you want to do you want to go down here drum maps okay drum map setup go to functions new map and then name it SR202 drum map because that's what I do to stay organized okay and you just close that out okay now you go right here and then you would select it once you hit uh, once you hit new map save and then save it into Cubase projects okay then go right here and select it okay so now that you selected that what you want to do from here is oh, where are you at no no okay double click on your MIDI track here or the instruments and Right here, you'll get all these little purple notes right here, but for some reason they get all scrambled down here. Okay, so uh, you're gonna have to move this, the uh, move everything up to here, so you don't have to go scrolling everywhere. You know. So in order to add the actual sound to it, you're going to need right here. Oh. 
right here. And then you start to start importing the sounds, okay? So I just hit load, import, load, you know, just double click the sounds. And then, uh, literally that's how you set up the drum map itself. And then, uh, oh, I don't know. So then from here, like see right here, I named it kick, snare. So all you have to do is just click on it once, type in whatever you want, click kick, press enter, and there you go. And then because if it does go down here, because for some reason it does, uh, just click it and drag it all the way up to the top or wherever you want it, okay? And literally that is all you need for that. And then one more thing I wanted to show you that helps uh, go down here, go to media and open pool window. And this right here is where I imported all the sounds for the like the drum effect, the drum sounds. So all I need to do is it'll have audio, video, and trash. Okay, import. Go to VST plugin downloads, media bay, and go through each one of these files, double click it, press control A, copy all of it, hit open, and then just make their own separate files for cymbals, effects, hi-hats, kick, etc. Because that'll make it easier when you want to preview the sound. Instead of having to double click it from the my doc from my documents and then having it open up Windows Media Player or I don't know how Mac works, but if you open up the iTunes or whatever. Okay, yeah, sorry about that guys. Um had two technical difficulties. One, um using Microsoft Expressions encoder, well the record itself, uh, to record all of this. And two when uh, it cut out, I had to record another section, and uh, that section looked good and all. For some reason, there was a clicking noise, so I closed out everything, restart my computer, and all that fun stuff. So now, I'm going to open back up Cubase and uh, get, uh, get back on the subject of where I left off, which actually all I was saying was, uh, uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, instead of, I don't know how Mac works, if it opens up iTunes or whatever, but, uh, all you, you know, instead of opening up, uh, audio clip, the WAV file, you know, uh, each one individually from the, uh, my documents or whatever, wow, that was quick, uh, instead of doing that, hey, it's actually picking me up here, might, I might actually be, yeah, be able to show you guys what it sounds like, nope, okay, well, anyway, what I was saying, instead of having to do that, just open up the pool, and uh, control P, by the way, yeah, on a PC, is a short key. But instead of opening up all those, you have them right here at your fingertips, uh, just import all the audio, put them in their own files, and say you want to add like a symbol to the drum track or whatever, just click it, and just press play, which, again, it's not going to... But just do that and click the down arrow, play, down arrow, play, down arrow, play. And that's literally all. So after you did that, go to file, export, audio mix down, export it as an MP3, which is what I'm going to do after I stop this video. And I'll put the drum track, uh, a little section of this, at the end of it, uh, at the like during the credits, so you guys can hear you know, a little bit of what the drums sound like which I actually like the way it sounds. I just got to tweak with it a little bit more because the cymbals, uh, the crash sounds like a splash and all this fun stuff. So yeah, I hope the, that's about it. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, please feel free to comment, rate, and subscribe. Not only to this channel, but to my other channel, TMP2295. That's where I do all my covers at. Uh, I got two new covers up so far. Uh, I just put up as of now, uh, like a week ago. Uh... It, uh, yeah, about a week ago. It's Hate Creation by Whitechapel. I did a, a guitar cover and a vocal cover. So I hope that uh, you guys like uh, metal because if you do, go check those out. All right, well, that's about it. Uh, stay tuned for more uh, tutorials and such. All right, later.